In case you've missed last episode, let me fill you in real quick. Soupy and the guys finally tested our Warthog in Johnson Valley, California, where the guys learned a lot about our Halo Infinite Warthog. Some of the biggest things the guys figured out is when you're running a thousand plus horsepower, 6,000 pound Warthog, heating and cooling is going to be one of the biggest issues. But not only that, Soupy and the guys really figured out how severe inclines and declines affect fluid, cavitation, cooling, and plumbing. Soupy and the guys had very little expectations on how the Warthog was actually going to perform out in these conditions as we really didn't have much experience with something of this caliber. So it's time now for the guys to get back to the shop and address all these little hiccups that we ran into while testing out the desert. While we're also tightening up these loose ends that we found off-roading, we got to start getting back onto the chassis and the body of the car finishing up the hood and the trunk and maybe even start laying a little bit of fiberglass to make sure that we have a nice clean body lines that fit the look of the Warthog. Now, right around mid-May is when we were making our big transformation. That's when we were leaving the donut garage and heading over to our new shop. So in the middle of that transition, Alex decided to stay back and continue to keep working out of the donut garage. This is working on the new fiberglass hood and continue making those handcrafted body panels for the Warthog. Soupy, on the other hand, started preparing the new work bay for the Warthog, getting the electrical ran for the new welders, getting all the tooling and everything required to make that transition from Donut Garage to Tire Slayer Studio. A seamless transition with very limited downtime. So everything's like nice and neat and organized. We start fresh, finish this thing. Alex and I are like the last 30, 40% of this build ready. You ready to see the rest of this thing go? Pull me off the... Pull me that way, we're nosing in. Turn the damn wheel! Shut up and go! You friggin' idiot! I said go that way and then we're gonna push it that way, you we're idiot! The worst driver I've ever Well, look, we're here at the new shop. Warthog is here, Alex is working. You can see like the shelves are still bare, right? The welders, we just got a plug for the welder. We so. have plug after. Yeah. yeah, we have three plugs, only one works. In any case, I'm in and out all the time. Alex, you want to tell them what you're doing? Yeah, somebody's currently out here too. Yeah. Let me go, because somebody's yelling my name. So, we pretty much got all the tools we need to make stuff happen. Uh, we got our fab room right next door. Currently just finished up the hood for this. This is a mold thing. Soupy's gonna tape over it. He's gonna lay the fiberglass on top. We'll have a hood. Got the windshield set up, ready to go. Soupy has to finish that as well. And I currently I am working on modeling the tusk for the front here. This is gonna cover our reservoirs. And I'm also modeling the rear half of the Warthog as well. And we'll cut some stuff and get welding again. give it to them as ribs like this because I guess they, they throw over it and 
I'm gonna put some polyurethane foam, fill in the gaps, and then smoothen it all out so it becomes like one solid surface. Now our whole idea for the hood of the Warthog was to make an extremely lightweight one piece fiberglass hood. Now the mock up that we originally had and the support embracing caused a little bit of the imperfections in the fiberglass where we were only holding it up with some light tape and some very limited structure. Now when you do that with fiberglass and the resin, it tends to warp in some areas and dip and have some really high and low spots. Well then what we would typically do in that point is go back with some Bondo, fill those imperfections until we have something that looks like the hood of the Warthog. But it did create an opportunity to actually use this first template as a plug for the next version. This is gonna be the main barrel of the winch. The winch is just for show, it's not gonna function. So this is basically gonna be the part that the stainless wire would wrap around. So what I did here is I got this flat piece. We need to roll this into a, into a tube. So what I did is I got these cogs. These cogs fit into these notches. The plan is, is to weld one in like so, and then I'm gonna wrap this thing around and weld it and the tabs as we go along. Hopefully it doesn't work too much, and um, I hope this works. Daniel screwed up, right? Oh, if anybody doesn't know, that's Daniel over there. And that's great. They both screwed up. Damn! They forgot to wax it before we put the thing on it, so all the tape is stuck. So we're trying to peel off the tape and then back it again. You can see it like it's flimsy, right? So if you back it one more time, it should be pretty solid. Days later, he made no, uh, no. a fake winch. No, it was not 17. No, it's less than. Well, how long did this whole thing take? It took like four days. Four days. And Design and fabrication. I would have made that in one. No, you not All right, so we have the uh, the winch here. Fake winch, of course. I'm gonna put this thing on. It's a bit of a, a chore to get on, but you know what? I'll make it happen. I know. I know. Help me out. Help me out. Give me a hint. Get the other side. So this is the, uh, there's gonna be a bar here. And this is like the thing that the winch is supposed to. Yeah, that the cable up. stays on? Yeah. <laughs> Now that we've made the transition from the donut garage in Long Beach to the new burnout capital of California, the guys finally get to spend a lot of time on finishing up the exterior of the Warthog. You may notice that Alex has spent a tremendous amount of time adding on those very easily identifiable front tusks that we've literally seen on every variation of the Warthog, from the one at the Peterson Museum to the one that's actually in Halo Infinite. The other thing that we really have to start preparing for is paint. Once we finish up the exterior body panels, that means we can get to the paint that much sooner. Once we get the paint, 
then we can start working on our final assembly. Now it seems like everything is in crunch time as we're getting that much closer to completing the Halo Infinite Warthog build. <laughs> Don't ever ask a boy to do a man's oh, job. There you go. 